This video is sponsored by Athletic Greens. Would you believe it when I say that I'm sleeping in these days? Mini and Bonus have taken to not waking me at 5 a.m. or even earlier lately, and I've been enjoying getting up after 7 and a few days even after 8. Mind blowing. I do feel like my day is escaping me a little bit when I get up later than I'm used to, but I'm trying to be chill about it. After all, I'm my own boss and I'm fortunate to work from home at my own pace. Today I thought I'd take you with me on my new beautiful morning walk and while I work on projects around my new home. As always, after I get up I look after Minnie and Bonus. I give them food, switch out their water, clean out their litter box, that type of thing. After making sure Minnie and Bonus have what they need, I make sure to get what I need. And that brings me to the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. AG1 is a daily supplement with 75 high-quality whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics and adaptogens. It's an effortless daily habit where I add one scoop of AG1 in 6 to 8 ounces of water every day, and that's it. Since I'm of a certain age, or specifically 58, healthy aging is really important to me. AG1 is packed with antioxidants and superfoods to counter free radicals and promote healthy aging, along with biotin, zinc and other nutrients to support healthy skin, hair and nails. Since I'm not much of a foodie, and that's such an understatement, it gives me peace of mind that drinking AG1 gives me all the nutrients I need. If you too would like a comprehensive daily nutrition that nourishes the whole body, go to athleticgreens.com slash Benita Larson to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is giving my community a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3 and K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Then I quickly get ready to take my walk. On my way, I drop off trash and recycling. This day was icy, so I put on my ice grippers. I got some concerned comments about me losing my lovely morning walk around the canal. It was nice, but I had been on the same route for four years, so it's nice to change scenery. It takes me about five minutes to leave the city and enter the Royal Park that's right on the edge. I used to come here a lot when I last lived in this part of town, and I'm so happy to be back. My new walk takes me about an hour just like my old one. The views are absolutely stunning and I can't wait to experience the changing of the seasons here again. After walking and getting ready, I have coffee and some cottage cheese with blueberries before tackling the projects I have.
Since I moved in December, I have the basic configuration and layout of my furniture figured out. But I have a lot of projects that need taken care of. I love this stage of moving the most. I love the whole moving process, but when I get to the stage where I can start organizing and get down to details, I thrive. One of the things I've been dying to do is add a laundry hanger on the balcony for airing clothes and bedding. I've had them in all my homes and use them pretty much daily. I still don't have the cat net up because I'm waiting for the temperatures to rise above 8 centigrade so I can paint a couple of things. Mini and Bonus honestly haven't shown much interest in going outside though, so I'm happy to wait until it gets warmer or I might end up as the doorman since I won't have a kitty door. Mini and Bonus turn 18 this year, so they're way more interested in hanging out on a windowsill or on the heated bathroom floor than in sub-zero temperatures outside. Now that there's no snow though, I took the opportunity to put the laundry hanger up. I've missed having one of these so much. I was only able to attach the two screws on one side, but I'll be adding a piece of wood between the metal and the frame so I can attach the other side too. It works fine with just two screws for now. I have to close the bedroom door when opening to the balcony so Mini and Bonus can't sneak out, but as soon as it gets warmer they will have access to a balcony catio. And speaking of temperatures, I've missed having an outside thermometer, so I added one to the living room window. When I put the laundry hanger up, the balcony floor was wet and I realized that I'd have to add a doormat of some sort. I've used coconut fiber doormats in pretty much all my homes. I love the look of them and they're practical too, both for wiping feet, but Mini and Bonus also enjoy them as scratch pads. I got a standard doormat at IKEA and cut it to size to fit the space in front of the balcony doors.
For now, it acts as a buffet of plants that Minion Bonus can chew on. But as soon as it gets warmer, I'll just keep my slides on there, so both sides of the doors can easily be opened. Another thing that I've been trying to figure out is what to do about window treatments in the bedroom. I'm not a fan of them to start with and I've been totally fine sleeping without since it's very dark here still. But I know I will need something for summer when we have very long days with very few dark hours at night. Since I already have sleep issues, I need to at least set myself up well so I have the potential for a good night's rest. Since these are balcony doors that open inward, I resorted to blackout curtains. I tried cheap IKEA blackout curtains in my old apartment, but they looked and felt awful, and I quickly took them down and replaced them with blinds. I couldn't find a good way to fit blinds here though, so I went with curtains again. This time I splurged though and got them custom sewn in a linen viscose blend with blackout fabric behind. I tried one out and I think they will look nice once I've gotten the bits I need to hang the second one. I'll be painting this room a different color and I've ordered a cast iron radiator to go in here too. I'll share what the whole thing looks like in a bedroom reveal down the line. Another project on the list was to add a hook for my bag in the closet. I just love getting stuff off the floor even if it does mean bringing the drill out. While the drill was out, I also attached this IKEA holder to the wall that stood on the floor in the storage closet. I'll share both these spaces and how I've organized them in future videos, so stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll also share the bathroom in a video. One thing I wanted to do was to switch out the under sink cabinet door handles. The bathroom was renovated about 10 years ago and the handles that came with the cabinets are grey plastic. While I can't do any structural changes in the bathroom, I can update simple things like the cabinet handles. I have considered switching out the sink and cabinet altogether to one with drawers but it's proven difficult to find a nice set with a deep sink and narrow cabinet that fits in this narrow space, so these are staying. For now, at least. I didn't have a whole lot of choice when it came to handles, because the distance between the holes is quite unusual, but I managed to find these super simple ones. It's not earth-shattering, but to me it's an upgrade. And those are some of the things I've been working on here in my new apartment. Even if you've not just moved, I hope you found inspiration to tackle some project or other on your own to-do list. 
If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, I really appreciate the support. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, there will be a lot of fun videos coming up. If you're looking for sources for things, you might get lucky in the description box. There's a link that takes you to my website where I'm collecting all the sources for you. Oh, also, I'm starting my newsletter this spring. If you want to join my email list for that, there's a box to subscribe on my website too. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Hey då!